Hey you guys, so today's video is going to be a voiceover. I decided to do that in collaboration with Diva's Wigs. They did send me one of their 5x5 five five closure wigs, which is super cute. It is a curly unit that has combs in it and so forth. So as for your unit, when you get it from Diva's Wigs, it will come in one of their satin satchel bags. And you'll also receive one of their brochures. You'll also receive a free wig cap, which does include two wig caps inside, along with their signature paddle brush, which you can use to brush your unit with. The unit that I received is a 24 inch, 150% density volume, 5x5 closure unit. There is one special thing about this closure unit, maybe more than one special thing, but the lace on this is meltable, it is transparent, it's undetectable, it's upgraded, it's the best Swiss lace. So you have no problem blending it in. As you guys can tell from these juicy curls, it's absolutely beautiful. And when you receive the unit, just like I have here, you won't even need to bleach it because it already comes pre-bleached for you. And as you can tell from that lace, you can barely see it on the mannequin. So this is a amazing 5x5 frontal unit. Make sure you check out Diva's Wigs as I'll leave their information down below. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is put this unit on. I did go ahead and pre-plug just a tad bit of the hairline. I really didn't do much, probably about two to three minutes worth. Normally it'd take me like 45 because it already is kind of thinned out for you in the front. So not much work to do. I did co-wash the unit when I received it because I do notice that once you co-wash any unit that is curly or wavy, the curls come back so much better and more natural looking versus the factory curls. So I would highly suggest any wavy or curly unit you get, make sure you co-wash it before you wear it because it just looks totally different. And then when you're ready to put it on, take your small curved scissors like I like to use and just remove the lace. Now with a rat tail comb, I'm gonna go ahead and part the frontal portion of the hairline. This is an optional step, but I do like to do this because I always try to make sure that I camouflage any type of lace and also just a little bit of flyaways. I like to put a little, you know, wispy hairs in there, girl. To adhere my wig, I am going to use the bedhead holding spray. Sometimes I use got to be, sometimes I don't use anything at all but I do spray it in between the part and sometimes underneath. But being that this is a closure unit, I'm just gonna spray it in between the part. And then I'm gonna take my blow dryer on a cool to medium heat and just dry the product. But if you don't have a blow dryer, no worries. You can always allow it to dry on its own as it does dry super duper quick. But just try not to spray the entire front perimeter. Just do small sections at a time and use your rat tail comb to press into the lace to make sure that it is sticking to your hair or your head. Now I'm not like a really huge fan of that piece of the hair right there, which is the track. I do think that it should have been showed back a little bit more because the opposite side is not so blunt like that where you can see the track. So I'm gonna have to do a little camouflaging. As you can see right there, you don't really see the track. But as far as it being a closure wig, it did come out really nice. Now I'm gonna cut this hairs because I don't want my flyaway wispies to be super duper long. So like I said, this is an optional step and you can do as desired. To sculpt those flyaways or those wispy hairs, I'm gonna be using my Salon Selective Styling Mousse. This is available at any local Dollar Tree and it works amazing. It's been around for years, not just at the Dollar Tree, but honey, this was like a major product back in the 70s. My mother told me this, okay? I first start by just applying the mousse and just fat and brushing the hair towards the back. So that way I'm able to choose which hair and what section I want to brush forward. So that's just one of my little tricks that I like to do. And I'm just gonna try and cover like that blunt piece on the side that I was speaking about. And I'm also going to just use my rat tail comb to get the hairs out and also take the brush and kind of like brush the frontal portion of the hair on a slanted kind of like design so that way it doesn't look so noticeable.
Now to hold those hairs in place and allow them to dry, I'm just gonna take my black elastic band that I have sewed together, and I'm just gonna place that on top, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just start styling the hair by using my rat tail comb to decide where I want to part the hair. This hair is beautiful, it's very full, and I'm really impressed with the closure because I'm not like the hugest fan of closures anymore, but this one worked out in my favor. And just to moisten the hair and kind of like, you know, give it a little bit more curl, I'm going to be using my spray bottle with some leave-in conditioner in it. So that way I can moisten the hair. You don't want to use just plain water. You always want to make sure you have some type of conditioner inside of it. So that way it doesn't dry the hair out. And to define the curls, I'm going to be using a lot of body curling cream product, which does work actually really well. And it smells hella good, okay? I've had this product for some time and I have a lot of their products, but this one works really good with any type of curly hair. And I'm just going to distribute that throughout the hair. And I was kind of undecided of, you know, where I wanted the part or which side I wanted the part. But guys, do you see this hair? The curls are juicy and just vibrant and very pretty. And if you just kind of like finger comb them, as you see me doing here, the hair will get even fuller. You know what I'm saying? I like to take the hair and kind of like make it with, give it more volume by just kind of like taking it strands by strands and just kind of like uplifting it. And now to remove the elastic band, I'm gonna go ahead and brush some of those wispy hairs up because I really don't like them to be stuck to my head. So I just use the styling mousse to actually sculpt and give the hairs some type of form and definition. And then I'll brush them up with my favorite styling tool, of course, okay? Now I thought maybe I would want it parted on the right side and I wasn't really sure because sometimes I'll go back and forth because I mean sometimes if I part it on one side and then decide I want to part it on the opposite, it looks a lot fuller, um, you know what I'm saying? If you guys can understand. But this hair is actually beautiful. I have collaborated with Divas Wigs for so many years. They've been around for so many years and they have definitely evolved. I'm very impressed with their, you know, meltable see-through lace. That's what I'm gonna call it, see-through lace. That's what we gonna call this, see-through lace. Cause you cannot even see the lace, but you can see through it, okay? But just to define my part a little bit, yeah, that, that, that blow dryer was hell of a hot, okay? That was the definite happy dance right there because this wig right here is definitely muffins approved, girl, okay? Now this is a closure wig that I would definitely wear because it was easy and the lace is actually very, very pretty. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you'll check the link description. Make sure you use my coupon code down below so you can save $60. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.